Hello students, this is Father Manco, and I want to get a few uh, definitions out of the way through this online lecture. And the first word that you need to know is orthodoxy. Now, orthodoxy means literally right praise, and it comes from the Greek word ortho, meaning right, and doxa, meaning praise. And it's the same root that, that ortho is the same root as your orthodontist, who helps make your teeth straight. So, orthodoxy would be those teachings uh, revealed by God or that logically flow from them. We might sum it up as saying pure faith. So, because we know the truth about God, we praise Him correctly. And that's what it means, uh, that's what orthodoxy is and what it means to be orthodox. And along with the praise, what we believe, there's also what we do. And that's orthopraxy, literally right practice or right action. And again, ortho meaning right, and praxis, meaning practice or action. And this, is, this refers to, to worship or moral action primarily when we're talking about uh, orthopraxy. And it's, it's the action that's in harmony with the orthodoxy. So what we believe and what we do should be in harmony together. And so that's what uh, orthopraxy is about. Now the opposite of orthodoxy and orthopraxy is heterodoxy and heteropraxy, literally meaning other praise and other action. And so the Greek word hetero means other. So that's why the word heterosexual, heterosexual refers to someone attracted to the other sex. So heterodoxy would be those beliefs contrary to some Christian teaching, and heteropraxy, actions or worship contrary to Christian teaching. So for instance, the idea that God is pleased by human sacrifice would be, from the Christian perspective, considered heterodoxy. From the Aztec perspective, human sacrifice would be considered orthodoxy. But we're coming at this from a Catholic school point of view, so human sacrifice is out. And in terms of, uh, so we can, we can have a dispute about is, is human sacrifice correct? And if you believe it is, you're heterodox, you don't have orthodoxy. But there's also ortho, uh, orthopraxy and heteropraxy. And so this mass here would be an example of heteropraxy. This is a priest from, I think, Norway, which was in the World Cup uh, some time ago, or the Netherlands, one of those two, anyway. Their color was orange, so the priest in celebration decided to hold an orange mass with orange cloth and orange chasuble, that's this thing here, orange candles, a goalie net uh, on the altar here, and a little soccer ball up front. And you might ask, well, what's wrong with any of that? Well, orange is not a proper color for Mass. What color is correct is dictated by the church, and you can't just go making things up. So, this would be an example of heteropraxy. Now, it's not serious. It's not as serious as, as if the priest did this on the altar, but it still isn't good. Okay, so those are the four words you need to know. Orthodoxy, orthopraxy, oops, orthopraxy, heterodox, heterodoxy, and heteropraxy.